There are some serious functions that are really missing from Windows 10 and Windows 11. Like seriously, Microsoft, get it together. Why do we have to hunt for these external apps just to have these obvious functions that should be there by default? I mean, we've only been asking for these for years, so by all means, go and ignore us. But in the meantime, here are four apps that every Windows user should absolutely install ASAP. This one is just so obvious, it's infuriating that it's still not part of Windows operating system. I am talking about a simple utility that finds all the duplicate files and folders on your computer, taking up precious space on your hard drive. Wouldn't it be awesome just to click on a button and just have these shown to you? Well, Windows doesn't do this, but this free app absolutely does. Right, in Windows, click on the search, type their store, and there is the Microsoft Store. Now, you want to look for something called Duplicates Cleaner. There are other utilities. This is my favorite one. Just find it, click on Get, and look at these options. Everything is here from audio to custom file type to video files to just scanning your whole computer. I like the one to use, which is the Scan for Duplicate Images. I simply go and select the folder that I want, let it do its bit. I'm going to fast forward to this bit, and there we go. All the pictures and images which are the same have been identified. Look how many there are. I can save myself 4.17 gig. That is pretty darn epic. Now, of course, not everything is free. Some of these things you do have to buy the premium version for. But look, realistically, I've been using this for quite a while. Still haven't had the need to upgrade. But if you need some of these advanced features, well, they're here. Oh, one thing, click on to settings, and in settings, you've got deletion mode. This is a cool thing to change. You want to send it to the recycling bin or permanently delete. And under scan type, make sure you leave it to same as content, not just name, name, and file size. In Windows 10, we have that tiny little speaker icon at the bottom that controls the volume of whatever it is we are playing. That is absolutely fine when you're doing just one thing, like playing this YouTube video. But what happens if you're listening to Spotify in the background at the same time you're having a Zoom session? Or if you're listening to an audiobook whilst watching a live stream? You should be able to control each app's volume individually without going into different apps and control the overall volume all from a single place. And this is what this free utility does for you. Now you want to search for Ear Trumpet. Click on that and click the Get button to install it. And when you do, at the bottom where your sound volume speaker thingy is, now check this out. All the apps that are open are actually broken out and you can control the volume individually. Back of your router and wondered why on earth would they put this in a USB port? At a back of a router? Why? That's why well, we today I'm going to show you a bunch of cool things and the reason that is we bring different angles to this. You know, I've been a YouTube growth strategist for quite a while. I'm kind of what they call the hey, well, As you can see, I have full control of my audio at any point, and this is just so useful. So, moving along to the thing we love to hate, the Windows Search. I will say over the years, Windows Search has gotten a lot better and it's pretty great being able to find that one app that you're looking for and it does an okay job in finding files and folders, but it's so darn slow. It's also limited to the finding stuff in the folders that you told it to index. So this is where the everything app comes in. It's lightning fast search utility that finds, well, everything. Okay, this one is not available in the Microsoft Store, so just go to that website. I will have the link in the description and then download and install it. Now you'll see a little magnifying glass there. Simply click on that and then select a show search window or new search window, depending on what you currently have going on. Click on that and then watch how quickly this is. As I'm starting to type, it's already displaying these amazing search results. Windows search is not this quick and it searches absolutely everything. Let me try something else. Look at this. I mean, amazing, right? All right, this one is mind blowing to me that it's not already part of Windows. It has been part of our web browser experience for years. And of course, I'm referring to having tabs in File Explorer. I was hoping that Windows 11 would have it by now, but sadly, it's still not a thing and we have to use an external app to make this happen. Well, thankfully, this utility solves it. This one also doesn't live in the Windows Store, but that's okay. There's the URL. I have it linked in the description. Simply go and grab it and the, your normal install. Then simply open up File Explorer, click on View. Underneath the options, got a little arrow, click on that, and then click on QT Bar. Right, nothing seems to have happened, but watch this. I can now right click on any of my folders 
select open in new tab and there it is. Now I can simply bounce between my various tabs all within File Explorer without opening up another one. Don't forget to right click at the top and choose QT tab bar options and you get a whole host of things to play with to really customize it to make it work for you. This one is amazing. Are there any other utilities you absolutely love? Let me know in the comments below and I will feature you and your recommendation in an upcoming video. In the meantime, if you're still paying for Office, check this video out here or check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I will see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.